blessings, blessings. I want us to pray. I saw a vision, and for the last two times I've been speaking to us on the vision I saw over Zimbabwe, where I saw a crisis happening and people being in the streets. People were gathered in the streets. And we need to pray. We need to pray because the issue that we need to pray, number one, we need to pray for the issue of food shortages. Number two, we need to pray for the issue of natural disasters. I saw food shortages. I saw natural disasters. And I saw crisis in the political arena. Serious crisis in the political arena. In the political arena. This month of June that I saw, I saw in the month of June, it was a month where, where pe while people are stressed about economic things, the Lord showed me a hero being mourned. I saw, I, I saw a hero being mourned. I saw someone strongly co connected to, you know, the political lineage going to be, um, going to, to be with the Lord. We need to pray. We need to pray. Because this was a person who was walking and suddenly, walking without any problem, suddenly they started having serious health complications in their body. So we need to pray for the things I've spoken about over Zimbabwe. Why are we praying? We are praying so that as the church, we bring and restore back liberty in the name of Jesus. So let us pray that every sh food shortage that might be arising in this nation, we will see the end of the Lord being seen. As we are praying, as we are praying, there is an issue that I saw, you know, in this event of the issues of food shortages that we really have to pray about. There is a man, there is a man who is well respected and I saw him being blamed over a lot of things or over a lot of issues, especially on the issue of the crisis that are happening in Zimbabwe. This man is not holding any political position, but this man is wielding enormous power in the nation of Zimbabwe. I saw a tall, dark guy with white hair. We need to pray. We need to pray that God raises leaders that we have the people at heart. So let us pray for the things that I saw and I believe that there's going to be peace. We come against all riots. We come against brutality. We come against loss of lives in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare the Lord will show himself to be faithful by the power of the Holy Ghost. See God touch you. See God bless you. And see the Lord raise that nation again. May peace be seen. I pray that even in the scarcity of currencies, even in the scarcity of commodities, may you know that God is there and may the Lord keep you in Jesus' name. I love you all. God bless you in the name of Jesus.